Hi guys, bringing you the first of what I hope will be a series of videos on books that I've found particularly useful uh, when uh, both collecting and in uh, reenacting the British soldier uh, throughout the 20th century. We've covered a period, roughly speaking, from the First World War to the very early 1990s. Uh, this is British Army Uniforms in the Secretary of World War II by Brian L. Davis. Uh, probably many of you who are uh, involved, you know, who watch my videos will know of this book already. It's uh, colloquially known as the Bible amongst the uh, uh, reenacting in the Second World War reenacting world and, and collecting world. To it certainly fits that title well. It's an excellent reference book um, if you're looking for um, information on the British Army in this period. It covers badges and insignia uh, through to um, specialist uh, clothing. Obviously, still in, on insignia and badges here. The front front part of the book is primarily on on uh, insignia and so on. Um, but towards the back, we get on to uh, specialist clothing, so overalls and things like this, kilt aprons and so on. Moving through here, let's have a look. The badges there, helmet puggery badges and things like that. Some information on anti-gas equipment. Um, it really is an excellent uh, reference book. Um, a lot of it comes directly from regulations uh, and has dates and so forth regarding uh, the introductions of... Uh, various different pieces of uniform, obviously the helmet design changed during the war and so on. Uh, it really is an excellent reference book. Um, it covers, not only does it cover the period of the Second World War, it covers some of the period beforehand, and uh, it also covers some things which are applicable to post-war as well. One part of the book, if I can find it, which I might be able to have had it open at the page recently. This is the page I was looking for. Um, because I've obviously, as I say, I'm working on a video. I will be producing a video on uh, the Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders in Aden. Um, to make sure you have the correct Glengarry. This is an example of the detail that can be found in this book. You have a coloured field, uh, coloured field service caps Glengarry pattern, and it tells you for each regiment uh, of the period, which obviously many of them were still in existence after the war, through into the 60s or in some cases through to the 90s with mergers and so on. Um, it gives you the uh, type of ribbon, the colour of the body of the um, Glengarry, the Turi colour, which is the little pom-pom uh, on top, and then you've got the type of dicing on the band and rim and silks, so tells you how the um, tapes that run down the back should be cut, so swallowtail, straight, and so on. So this is the level of detail you can get from this book, and this is just a particular example I've picked up because this is something I've referred to, and it's not necessarily just relevant to the Second World War. Um, there's also a section in the back on the Home Guard, uh, which I will find here, and it goes into details on I identity discs and, and the Hussifs and things like this as well. So it really does cover a huge amount. Um, there's the section on the Home Guard. Let's find here. Uh, so you've got a section on Home Guard insignia and things as well. Um, it really is an excellent detailed overview of the uniforms, insignia and equipment of the British Army in the Second World War. Uh, as I say, it has a lot of dates, specific dates of when things change. So if you're looking to do a, a specific uh, cover, a specific period during the war, the book will often provide the answer for you. Um, can't recommend it highly enough if you're getting into reenacting or you're wanting to improve the quality and accuracy of your, uh, you know, the, the equipment you use and the uniform you wear and so on. Um, definitely recommend getting this. Price-wise, you're looking to pay probably £30 for these if you want to buy it now. There's, uh, I've seen eBay listings buy it now for that sort of price. If you want to pay, if you want one immediately and you want a reliable supply, they're available on Amazon for about £40, £45. Um, the you can pick them up much more cheaply than that. I've seen eBay auctions sell for much less, more like £10 with with delivery. Um, so just keep an eye out if if you're not pressed for time in getting one. Uh, keep an eye out on, on auction sites and things like that for these or second-hand book stalls and things rather than buying online. Uh, but definitely a worthwhile purchase. Uh, very, very much a good uh, first, uh, point of in, uh, point, first point of looking for information if you want it. It will probably be in here somewhere. So uh, that's my recommendation. If you're getting into British Army reenacting, collecting, or if you wish to improve upon your, uh, uh, you know, your kit and equipment um, and, and be very specific to the period you're representing, this book is definitely something I would recommend picking up. So I hope you found that interesting. As I say, I'll be doing a few more of these coming up on books that I've found uh, useful um, as references. 
uh, not particularly book reviews, more recommendations of things that I myself have found useful um, in uh, pursuing the hobby. So I hope you found that interesting. And until next time, bye for now.